Hello, welcome to week six. This is the week that paper one is due. And I bet you're more than ready to kind of get rid of it and move on to another topic. And that means you're going to be a third of the way through the class. So that's really exciting. There's a couple of things I just wanted to tell you about this week and about writing your paper and turning in the information. The first thing is you need to um, really focus on the world view. So I had several of you come to the rough draft meetings and that was probably the number one thing that we talked about <clears throat> that people struggled with. So the world view of your politician or your columnist cannot be that they are Republican or Democrat or conservative or liberal. That's not a overarching worldview you could get from reading three um, columns. So you have to really focus on the three columns that you read and think about what in those three columns was really the um, main message? So it might have been about domestic issues. It might have been about education or economics or immigration or Trump. Um, you just really have to think about, based on just those three, what it is. If you say that their worldview is Republican, um, that's a belief system. And uh, it, if they didn't talk about every single topic that uh, supports a Republican um, background, then you don't have, uh, you know, a worldview that's covering all those things. So really rethink it. Think about your worldview again. Look at the information I posted on the Works Cited um, because this is a rare case in which you're going to have three articles by the same person as well as um, a newspaper article in a scholarly uh, academic writing so I tried to include that so you didn't have to struggle with that. There is also a student paper example that I included of a student from last semester's paper. It's not perfect. I'm not trying to say this is follow this exactly. I'm saying this is basically how it looks and if you're trying to get an idea how the paper looks this is what it would be. I would definitely go through and proofread. Um, if you struggle with grammar issues or you miss words frequently, I would have the Writing Center help you take a look at it. It takes no time at all and we'll do it virtually. And then, uh, you know, the paper will just be due on Sunday and uh, it takes me about two weeks to get back to everyone. I mean, you might be one of the people that gets it right away the way I respond, but um, generally it takes about two weeks from, uh, for me to get everyone out of the 120 students that turn in the paper. Um, to get it all completed. And then next week we're just jumping right into paper number two. And so you can watch next week's video for that. I hope you're all doing well. Stay healthy. You're getting through this. You're doing it. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Email me if you have questions. And if you need to meet, we can do that too. All right. Best of luck.